I just got a delivery in I'd been waiting for and I know that I've been saying I did not want any more bags I'm happy with what I have right now but you know how it is it's late at night and you're just thinking about different sites you haven't tried yet and seeing what bargains they have <laughs> so I had seen some um, people posting about good deals from a place called clothes mentor and I don't have one near me apparently it's a resale shop and sometimes they have new things as well um, I've only done like thrifting online through shopgoodwill.com and have been very very happy with what I've gotten through that so I thought I would try out clothes mentor and see what they had <clears throat> and so I wanted to do this unbagging with you and kind of tell you a little bit about uh, the process and what I discovered because I'd never purchased online through them before so um, Let's go ahead and open it. I started to open this and then I realized, no, I wanted to do it with you guys. So it, first thing, first strike for me is that this is two vintage bags and they were sent in one plastic envelope. Not my favorite thing. So let's hope they are okay. Oh, that's cute. They have a nice little thank you, Heidi. Love the clothes mentor staff. That's cute. Okay. That's nice. And they are wrapped in tissue, so that's nice. Okay, so the first one here is a vintage Dooney. Oh, that's cute. So thank you. Okay, I like that. They did take care with it. Oh, cute. Okay. Ooh, I love it. So this is a vintage Dooney equestrian bag. It's got a little spot there, but I'm sure that'll wipe off. Um, and it was listed as being purple, but I'm not sure what they call this color. I'm going to have to look it up, but it is really pretty. And it's one I haven't seen before. I have um, the over under flat bag, which is in the equestrian line. Um, this is the Dooney all weather leather type of bag from the 80s really cute they did have pictures of it so I do know that inside it seemed to have a lot of pen marks and that's fine with me I can wash it but yeah so the oh pretty so the inside is red it does have the little um Dooney duck still on it Whoops. there we go and my current one does not have that so that's good and then it's got the nice little organization pouch in the back here, like mine. It's got the red and white tag that we look for for our vintage Doonies. Make sure they're authentic and the number. So that's great. It does have pen marks, but it's not that noticeable at all. I'm sure those will come out. Overall, it's in great condition. Let me make sure there's... I'm happy with this. This is good. Now, I don't know if you remember, my other Dooney bag came from, I believe, Etsy or eBay, and the seller didn't disclose that they had cut the strap down. Um, they might not have known, but this strap is whole, so it's a nice crossbody strap. You can remove these using the peg at the side. They're pretty easy to remove. It's got some wear right here, Oops. and I can easily touch that up. When I condition it, the little ducky on the back looks pretty good. He's got a little bit of wear on his feathers, but that's to be expected. But I do like the size of this bag. It's wonderful. The color is coming across a little different on screen. It's a lot more vibrant on screen than it is in person. It's a really pretty, um, I don't know what you would call it, kind of like a plum color in person. And this is nice. There's some scuffing right there and some scuffing right there, but I can easily, like I said, touch that up. Let me see. Smell. Doesn't really smell. Smells a little bit like a vintage store, <laughs> but I am happy with this. So you guys, I have to show you the price of this because, oh, it's not listed on here. 
I got this for $20. <laughs> so uh, you really can't go wrong with that, right? This is beautiful. It's got a little bit of wrinkling here, but that's just due to the age. But I will definitely wear the heck out of this. I love it. 20 bucks. These things go for like 120 all the time. So plan on keeping this and enjoying it like my other one. But having had the other one, I kind of knew what to look for in it. Now, this is my questionable one. This one um, looks like the Coach Station bag. They had one photo. <laughs> and so I thought, well, it wasn't listed as a Coach Station bag at all. It just said, um, I think, let's see. Yeah, here it, here's what it showed. Handbag designer by Coach, size medium. And the Dooney one just said size small. Well, it's not really a small. It's kind of their medium one. But anyhow, let's see this one. Hopefully this one isn't too awful. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, it looks nice. It looks nicer than I thought it would be. That's cute. Does it still have the hang tag? I don't see a hang tag on it. Everything looks pretty good. No pocket in the back on these. Let's see. Like I said, they had one picture of the front of it and that was it. But that looks pretty good. I don't see a lot of wear. I want to make sure the hardware still looked good, which it does. Oh, it's really nice and stiff too. Okay. Is this the adjustable? No. This is the old kind of non-adjustable strap, but that's okay. And it does have the Creed in there. That looks good. It is from, uh, let's see. Oh. It looks like probably 98. Or no, 97. It was from 97. And, huh. I don't know. There are some gaps in this creed. I wish you could see it, but you really can't. But there are some gaps in the wording that don't look good. See? So I am not sure on this one. If this one is legit or not, I'm going to have to do some more research, but it may not be. It might not be because it doesn't have the little hang tag either, which is funny because... I got this one to replace my Georgetown leather navy one, and it looks almost exactly like this. But yeah, I'm going to have to do my research on this one. I'm thinking this one might not be legit. I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that. But yeah, I don't like those gaps in the creed at all. It looks funky. But either way, it's a good beater bag. And it was only $24, so I am not out a lot of money. But if they are selling things that are not authentic, it would be good to know. Huh. We'll have to see. So anyhow, that is that. And then the other thing I wanted you to know is when you're shopping on the site, like I said, sometimes they'll just have one picture, sometimes they'll have many pictures. And um, you just have to kind of do your due diligence or not care if... Like on this one, it might not be authentic. I don't know. Um, so you're going to have to do your research on your own a lot. The other thing is, is that they have different locations all over the country. So if you're buying something, I think usually the shipping is $8.99 per item. But these luckily came, both came from the same um, store. So it was only $8.99 for both. Or if you spend over a certain amount, it's free shipping. Um, so when you're putting things in your cart on the general site, you have to kind of look at where they're coming from because you might be paying for packages from all over the place. So that's another thing to know. So anyhow, generally I am happy with it. I'm happy even just for this one. I think that was a phenomenal deal, even if I had spent the price on both for just this one. And I will do my research on this one because to me, I don't know. That one's kind of iffy. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this unbagging video. My first purchase from Clothes Mentor. I'm sure I'll probably shop with them again. That was kind of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time. 
Hi again, just wanted to give you a quick update on how this was resolved. So, oops, sorry, this bag here, the beautiful Dooney, I found out what color it is, and the color is called Rouge, and it's a rouge red color, but it's apparently kind of rare, so I am really pleased with that. Now with this, I did contact um, Clothes Mentor about it because it became more and more obvious to me when looking at the creed that this was fake, and so I did some research on it, and I'm going to put a little um, picture of it here so hopefully you can see it, but it's good for educational purposes because I learned that the code that it had at the bottom is absolutely not correct for this bag and that's how I decided it was not a real um, coach bag because the station bag is a style 5130 I know that and this one had a completely bogus number on it and it says 0974534 now when you look that up if you google that number that is known to be a number used on fake coach bags and a number of different styles of the bags came up with that creed and it is a known fake there are articles i found written about that and um so i guess when the people reproduce these and go for a creed to use that looks legit they think they use that number um unfortunately i saw a lot of bags on poshmark with that number so you want to be careful also what it says on it in the creed is completely wrong for this bag um, it wouldn't say coach leather wear at the top because this is an older bag where it would just say coach the name of where it was made would have been in the first line instead of squeezed in at the bottom it says made in USA and it says uh, and then obviously the spacing of the words is wrong spelling is wrong um, in markings it has an X markings the English is incorrect. It says the scar, scratches, veins, and wrinkles are natural. That wording is not a part of the station bags. So it was interesting to me because it really, it's a pretty good copy. I mean, they, it looks like it was probably done around the same time period as these bags came out. It's an older bag. It does have some wear and some scratches. The leather is not awful, and, you know, I thought that that would have really helped me decide if it was a legitimate bag. There are some threads that kind of uh, also led me to believe that this something was up with this, because the normal coach bags don't have the threads pulling like that, or this particular wrinkling around here, and the stitching is kind of bad, and the way it's cut right here. So, it's good for educational purposes. I am very, very happy to let you know that Clothes Mentor did the right thing. Um, they asked me to send them a picture of what I was talking about. They were apologetic, and they refunded me for this bag. So I'll keep it for educational purposes. I don't know if I'll actually use it because I feel weird using a counterfeit bag, but you can't sell a counterfeit bag. It's illegal, so I can't sell it. Don't want anyone else to get stuck with it, so I might just keep it. But anyhow, it ended up good in the end. I got this beautiful, beautiful Dooney. I'm very excited to start using it. I have her stuffed now, and she's gotten her shape back. Looking fabulous. Got her conditioned. So that was good, and all in all, I am happy that they did the right thing. I'm not happy that they sold a fake bag, but now they know too. So I hope this helps you guys in making your decisions as to where to purchase your vintage bags and things to look out for. It was really an interesting educational experience for me, too, even though I've been collecting vintage coach bags for quite a while. I don't know everything, and not anyone knows everything, so I'm always up to learn more. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.